It doesn't surprise me that people feel like a PhD is losing its value. There are more PhD students than ever, almost. I think last year there was a small dip in PhD students, but overall, there are more and more PhD students being graduated from more and more universities. And the problem is, is that when we think about value, we need to think it in terms of, is it useful? Is a PhD now useful to your career? Is it important? Not only is it important for where you want to go in life, but is it considered important by people outside of academia? And also, is it worth it? Is there an actual return on your investment? And all of these uh, sort of like aspects of getting a PhD are becoming less and less obvious when you get a PhD. Now, I know tons of PhD students who have graduated and they are settling for less. They are settling for rubbish jobs that they don't really want. Now, if you're a PhD student and you graduate, you all of a sudden want to do something you're passionate about and then the reality strikes, you get out into the real world and no one cares. No one cares for your skills um, and it's a sort of really disheartening feeling because you've worked so hard to go somewhere and then it's just like a, a brick wall hits you in the face because you're like, oh, okay, well, I, I should have probably just done a master's then. Also, getting stuck on the postdoc treadmill. The postdoc treadmill is this phenomenon where you get a job as a postdoc in a university, a researcher, and there is always money to keep you on, but never enough money to get you promoted to an academic position that sort of like secures your, your future in terms of giving you a, 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 at least a five-year contract, if not a tenured position. There is just no money in universities for that sort of employment. And also, there are more institutions kicking out more PhDs, and we're not talking about top-level institutions. There are more sort of mid-range universities kicking out PhDs, and I think that is muddying the waters in terms of the value of a PhD. Like, people know what a PhD is, is from Oxford, from Cambridge, from Yale, from Stanford, that seems to an outsider to be very impressive. But when you get it from a university no one has heard of, it's much harder to find value in that PhD. We're going to talk about all of the controversial issues in this video. Hmm, tricky. This video is brought to you by my newsletter. Go check it out at andrewstapleton.com.au forward slash newsletter. The link is in the description. And when you sign up, you'll get five emails over about two weeks, everything from the perfect PhD daily schedule, the academic tools I recommend and use, and more. It's exclusive content only available for free, so go sign up now. Now, I think that getting a PhD from a top university is still as valuable as ever. Go check out my other video where I talk about getting PhDs from top level universities. It is obvious to anyone outside of academia, in industry, in whatever career you wanna to go to, that if you get the highest qualification from the most re sort of like revered universities in the world, you are valuable, tick where it gets a little bit harder to sell your PhD and find its value and its worth is when you get a PhD from a mid-range university, and that is me. I got it from, you know, one of the top 2% of universities in the world, which is actually quite a few universities in the world, um, but no one, you know, no one knows about the University of Newcastle in Australia. And then I did postdocs at Flinders University in Adelaide. No one's heard of that one either. And it's why I think a lot of people recommend going to a different university. You know, if you can't do your PhD at a top tier university, if you, if you are serious about getting into academia, you do need to sort of like bolster up your CV by going to a top level to uh, university to do a postdoc or some research or at least visiting that lab to do some work in um, a really sort of like uh, well-known research group. Now, that's not to say there is no value in getting a university uh, qualification in a mid-range university. That is because there are tons of great skills, experience, that you can build up in any university, no matter what. But when you get kicked out the other end, I think you'd be sort of like a little bit delusional to think that it gives you the same weight as someone who gets it from a top level university. But you can still sell those skills that you've built up during your PhD to other sort of like uh, careers, to other employers, to say what exactly your PhD gives you. Oh, there's something in my eye. <laughs> 
and why you are valuable to that industry. I went into an explosives career, like I was a explosives chemist in a mining company for a while, and they loved PhDs because they understood the value, the boss of that research uh, group did have a PhD and they understood the value. So if there are PhDs out in the world doing good things, getting into positions where they can hire other PhDs, obviously the PhD, no matter where you get it from, is gonna be valued because they know what it's like, so yes. There is also a personal value and importance that people put on a PhD. Is it a personal goal? That is your value that you place on a PhD and that is also absolutely okay. Is that a personal value, value to you to do a PhD? Why is it important to you to do a PhD? And forget the money. Why is it worth doing a PhD? Maybe I think there's a lot of education PhDs who spend a lot of time in education, then get a PhD, and then are able to access, you know, higher level management positions or policy positions about education that they really like. So there is value, worth, and importance if you look at your own individual sort of like situation. And I think you do have to sort of delve deep to work out why a PhD is most important to you, why it's valuable, if it's worth it, if it really is important, and then that will help push you through your PhD. But until you've kind of like really thought about that, just doing a PhD for, you know, just because it's there and you don't know what else to do, isn't really valuable. Now here's the dark side of doing a PhD. You do have to ask yourself, who benefits most from an individual doing a PhD if they're not doing it at a top university? And to be honest with you, the people that benefit most and, and get the most value from your effort as a PhD student in a mid-range or low-range university is the university and the academics that work in that system. A university relies on cheap, PhD, postdoc, and uh, uh, graduate labor to actually do research. University professors, I have never seen any of my professors step in a lab for more than a few minutes to do research. They come in and they just see, oh, what's going on, this, this, and that, great, and they're out of there. Or if there's a good photo opportunity for some promotion, or they've got an award, oh, they don that lab coat and they're in that lab, like, as quick as possible. But then, as soon as the cameras are off, they're out of there, in their office, doing admin work. Now, the thing is, is that the university professors need PhD students, need uh, postdocs, need other graduates in their lab doing work, experimenting, uh, testing their own theories because they do not have the time to do it. They're too busy applying for all this other stuff like grant money and doing admin stuff for the university. So. The biggest value comes from the university and the professors convincing potentially naive graduate students that doing a PhD will be good for their career when in fact it's good for the professor and the university and therefore that is where the biggest value lies. So there is a dark side to doing a PhD which unfortunately means that in the mid-range universities the highest amount of value for your effort goes to the university via the professors. Another thing that happens in this capitalist driven world, oh look at me, aren't I edgy? Supply and demand. Supply and demand is so important because it ultimately dictates the value of something. Now, there are a load of PhDs being graduated. I found uh, that in the US in 2020, 55,283 PhD students graduated. Now, where are they going? They are not going into academia. They are not going into sort of research fields. They are being pushed out into the world. That doesn't mean they're not earning good money when they're out in the world, but is the PhD valuable to them to get out into the world? And I would argue for a lot of people, absolutely not. It's a waste of effort and time and money unless you have a plan, unless you know where you're going or you do a PhD that has like uh, industry connections that then sort of like uh, can help you get a job afterwards. Now, in the world, generally, about 1% of people have a PhD. In the UK, the US and Australia, where I've got my most experience with research, it is about 2%. But unfortunately, that 2%, considering how hard it is to get that qualification, isn't well sort of regarded 
outside of academia. So supply and demand, we've got a load of people being pushed out, but are they really wanted in the world at the moment? There's no doubt that having more educated people in the world is a good thing, but are they valued in the capitalist society that are pumping out these PhD students? My argument would be no. And the more PhD students that graduate, uh, the less demand there is, the greater the supply, and therefore the PhD is getting less and less valued as time goes on. Let me know what you think about that. So there we have it. Is a PhD losing its value? I think on the balance of all things, yes. Over time, PhDs are being seen as less valuable, not only supply and demand, but also the universities just are kicking out so many PhD students that then have to settle for jobs that they don't like. It's not important for their future. It's not valued in the future jobs that they're getting. And it's uh, certainly not useful to them because they're ending up in other jobs outside of academia, away from their research. So you do have to ask yourself, a PhD on an individual basis can be very valuable by the skills you build up, the sort of ability to sort of like go and do your own research on a question that may or may not interest you. That's valuable. But just a blanket statement as in all PhDs are valuable and, and it's valued by society, I think we'd have to say that that no longer exists unless you study at the top universities. Hmm. Tricky question. Let me know in the comments what you would add to that. And also go check out academiainsider.com. That's my project where I've got my eBooks, the Ultimate Academic Writing Toolkit, and the PhD Survival Guide. And I'll see you in the next video.